For years, Hollywood has been known as a place where people go to in an attempt to make themselves a household name. But this is no easy feat, and only a handful succeed in doing so. Skateboarding itself was born in California around the 1950s, and the culture of skateboarding has been thriving ever since. When one thinks of skate parks in California, parks such as Venus Beach Skate Park and Stoner Skate Plaza might come to mind. And as you guys can see, these are not your average skate parks. These parks are huge with nice features and even better views. But every skater knows there's one spot in Hollywood that just means so much more. And that's the Hollywood High 16. A skate spot is so influential that even a song was made called Hollywood High 16. Like what you been slow, dang gum on my skateboard, catch a hang time, but you can't stop, pull it up like what you been slow. So just forget the world, you don't need no one else to A bunch of insane tricks have been done at this spot, and people keep on finding new ways to skate it. Jamie Foy, who is a pro skater, three times X Game medalist, and Thrasher's Skater of the Year in 2017, when asked about Hollywood High, said a lot of times in skateboarding culture, people will hide spots they find. But Hollywood High 16 is a big spot and everyone knows where it is. And Zion Wright, a 23-year-old pro skater, describes Hollywood High 16 as being similar to how people go to Paris to see the Eiffel Tower. Ultimately, the Hollywood High 16 stair spot is monumental for all skateboarders. But up until the year 2021, no woman skateboarder had ever stepped up to this spot. So let's talk about the three women who have altered the path of history. Rose Wetzloot from the Netherlands in the year 2021 became the first woman to ever skate the Hollywood High 16. Then, Aisa Leal from Brazil in 2022 became the second woman to ever skate the spot. And lastly, Funa Nakayama from Japan became the third woman to skate this legendary spot. Now let's talk first about the woman who started it all, 22-year-old Rose Swetzlou. When news first broke that a girl had skated the Hollywood High 16, the media went into a frenzy. Rose received shoutouts from big names such as Grizzly and the Barracks. People were all wanting to see the clip of her 50-50 grind. But before I show y'all the clip, just know that being on the big stage was nothing new for Rose. Given she had competed in the Olympics and is no stranger to going big when it comes to her style of skating. Whether it's in the streets or in a park, Rose knows how to make any rail home. So let's watch the clip that was seen around the world. This feat earned her a spread in Thrasher Magazine and she wrote on her Instagram that the Hollywood High 16 had been on her mind for a while, so she was so stoked to be able to finally skate it. Overall, Rose Wetzlude's 50-50 grind looked like a clear next level setting of the bar trick for the new generation of women skaters who have been finding success in the industry and progressing skill-wise at an incredible rate these last few years. And it seemed that the bar Sweatsloot set was incredibly high. However, just a few months later, Aisa Lau would backlip the 16 rail. So let's take a deeper look at the second woman to ever skate the Hollywood High 16, 15 year old Aisa Lau from Brazil. Aisa Lau is another person who is very used to being in the limelight. Last season alone, she won all four street league skateboarding spots, making her undefeated. If you want to hear more about that, check out episode 1 that is already posted. Aisa has been skating since she was only 6 years old. Aisa Lau, eu tenho 7 anos. Eu amo andar de skate. And she has not stopped impressing the world ever since. From crazy lines to daring tricks, Aisa Lau knows how to put on a show. And when news first broke out, people knew she had hit the Hollywood high spot, but they were not sure exactly how which led people to start speculating online on what she possibly could have done, since Shane O'Neill posted a teaser of her rolling away, looking super relieved. So let's watch the clip that had millions talking.
Although Aisa didn't receive a spread in Thrasher Magazine for this, she did, however, turn pro right after for April Skateboards, and here she is getting surprised by her team. Aisa Lau continues to inspire young girls out there to pick up a skateboard, and the world can't wait to see what she has in store for 2023. Finally, let's talk about the third and last woman skater to hit this legendary spot, and that's 17-year-old Funa Nakayama from Japan. Funa, who won bronze at the Olympics, did a frontside crook down the Hollywood High 16, and this trick has been described as the hardest trick yet for a woman skating this spot, but really, she gave us a two-for-one because she warmed up for the frontside crook with this. And not to mention, the crook was first try. This landed her on the cover of Thrasher magazine, and not only did she have people wanting her autograph, but people were also making her their phone wallpaper. Ultimately, I want to leave y'all with this final thought from Cole Nowicki. That's what we are seeing with this new legion of skaters like Sweatslu and Liao now. They are motivated to take those consequential leaps, making history in competition with themselves and each other. Funny what happens when sponsors and media commit to supporting women in skateboarding, huh? When the opportunity is there, people will take it.